Uh, my name is Michael Dang. I'm president of Sense Time. I was a lawyer, banker, and also investor before I joined the Sense Time. Uh, and I was also a visiting professor for two universities uh, in Shanghai. But the title I proud of most is the vice chairman of the Shanghai Fashion Association. I invest uh, in a fashion company in Shanghai, and uh, we will try to promote a fashion line. Uh, so I approach a group of movie stars in China, try to persuade them to endorse the fashion line I was promoting. But the price ask, you know, the endorsement fee is very, very high. Uh, so I decided to cut the cost. Because this is a group of movie stars in China. I, I'm not sure whether you recognize this movie star or not. So I decided to model for the company by myself. Uh, I asked my you know, investment team to, to pose like them. That's me and my investment team. We only spend like $200 for taking the picture. So this, this story tells us, you know, nothing, it, no, everything is possible, right? Uh, as long as you're brave enough, you can be a movie star for one day. Similarly, the AI is not very mysterious or intimidating. Our ancient, our ancestors, already know how to use AI technology to predict a man's life. Actually, they, they try to use the data to analyze you by your appearance, even your dressing, right? This is called fortune telling. The AI already you know, exists for like more than 60 years. But why suddenly it becomes a household name in past four years? The defining moment is AlphaGo. In 2016, AlphaGo beat Korean Grandmaster Lee. In 2017, AlphaGo defeated the number one player in China, Ko Jie. At that time, people starting to realize, wow, the intelligence of the emotionless machine can exceed, that can exceed that of human being. That's quite scary. During the past 200 years, the technology is always a key drive for the industry revolution. The age of steam really liberates the people from the physical labor. The age of electricity really improve the people, the living condition, the standard of life, also enables mass production. The age of information is associated with, digital, with digitalization. So, but a, the age of AI is quite different from past three revolutions because it's a lot of AI technology is not only going to, is not only going to change our people's lives, but also may, control our lives. Here are some milestones for the AI development during the past five years. In 2013, Google employed Hinton for 15 million US dollars. Then Facebook established the AI lab in New York by hiring the top scientist, Yang Le Quinn. They tried to develop something use the machine to recognize people's face. They want to do something surpass the human eyes. The accuracy of human eyes is, about, is around 97.45%. Line, line the Facebook only can do is 97.35. This is 0.1 difference. In 2014, 
since time had the breakthrough, we reach line, line 8.42. It's, it's the first time in human history the accuracy of machine for recognized people surpass the human eyes. The next some symbolic events is GM acquired crews for automation for one billion. Then SoftBank, NASA purchased ARM for 31 billion US dollars. The next move is Intel acquired Mobileye for 15 billion US dollars. I give you a brief snapshot of since time. The company was founded in 2014, but we have accumulated 20 years of research experience. Currently, we have 20, 2,300 employees. Half of them are doing research and development. We have more than 250 AI PhDs. We account for almost 50% of AI PhDs in China. We have, we, we have the most proprietary deep learning platform. Currently, we are the highest we have highest valuation for AI unicorn in the world. We also have the number one revenue for the whole industry in AI. We also have the best founded AI startup. In 2014, we raised 20 million US dollars from IDG and Star VC in China. Then in 2017, in Series B, we raised 420 million US dollars, which was the largest amount of money ever raised by AI startups. In Series C for round, we raised 600 million. After that, we don't need the money, so, but we got a call from SoftBank. They are, they are very interested in our company. So after close, but, but finally we accept the money from, uh, from, from SoftBank. After post money, our valuation is more than six billion US dollars right now. So, in conclusion, though, I want to say, you know, AI in, in Chinese means love. We do want to promote the love, and we do want to make the AI peaceful use. Thank you.